Morning everyone. This is lecture 4 part 2 and uh, in the previous lecture I explained how we uh, solved the quiz that we have in the class a couple of days ago and uh, that was the sample that I made. Probably I forgot to make uh, a fillet here in the corners. So just a fillet radius at 200 and then you know you can do that. F space M space to get the multiple one. Uh, so that's uh, that's the tutorial that uh, actually sorry that's the quiz that I solved for you and that I brought for uh, the student in the exam uh, in the class sorry the qu other quiz that I also brought uh, is this one and I'm gonna solve that guy also for you and you may notice that the units here should be a meter so you have to be you know aware and change the setting it's a different setting from the one we have in the previous uh, quiz. Uh, for the different class which is millimeter so in a quiz one here for the second class uh, probably we need to go actually we need to go to a meter instead of a millimeter so uh, I'll start as usual from the outside uh, you know land or the outside border of the land which is a, a 57 by a 37 here and uh, that's a 5 and 7 that's 3 and uh, 7 and then C to close the line. Uh, probably uh, I'll select everything I created and switch for uh, the layer, the correct layer. Let's uh, just ignore that for now. And as I said, I'm going to explain layers uh, in a different, uh, at a different lectures on the next lectures, a couple of next lectures actually. Uh, now I'll zoom in here and find that this object is six meter away. And then another ten meter to that. So either I go starting with this one, drawing this one, or I'll start. Uh, drawing that one so probably drawing that one will be easier so I'll go 6 from that and then 6 by 10 16 from the uh, the west uh, line so offset 16 and then offset 6 as far as I remember great then 5 by 5 so that's a 10 square that's 5 here and 5 here as you see the radius is 2 it's mentioned here and it's not mentioned here so you go with the assumption that they have the same radius so uh, fill it radius 2 and then this guy and this guy now you go fill it radius 0 and M so you know to do those corners without fill it now that's been done I can go ahead and uh, specify 6 by 6 by 11 actually so 6 for here then 6 by 5 so offset 6 and then offset 11 so, uh, something wrong here offset 11 that's the corner of that object so this is the first corner here and then offset 10 And then I'm gonna fill it that guy. So that's uh, that's the edge. That's the west part of this mass here. And then I can go offset 11 from that guy here to make this long rectangle here. One from the top, four from bottom. So offset one from here. And offset four from here. And eventually itself. Uh, the width is 5, so offset 5. Now, fillet radius 0 multiple will help us to, you know, get that shape. As you see here. And then you offset 4 to end up, to end up that rectangle. So, offset 4. And then again, fill it, getting rid of this extra lines and getting this longitudinal shape here. Probably TR space is space to get rid of those three lines. So we get the same result we're having in here. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at this. It's another 10 and the same width. It's not describing the width, so it's the same here. It's been described here, same 10. And here it's giving you 5 by 5. So offset 10 as such, and probably you draw a line here 
and then a line here and then you can go ahead and fill it this guy with this guy and same thing here and I'll trim from this one space anything above I'll repeat that guy TR space one space select the cutting gauge and then space to finish selection and then just cut the things you don't want so we can end up by having this uh, two-part uh, geometry or this shape and this shape depending on how you uh, you know conceive those two shapes other as if they are one object or just uh, two objects uh, located in the same axis or aligned to the same axis again uh, that's a five here and again this guy is not being given so I will assume that it's half the distance from here to here so uh, how much to have the distance is 10 so it's 5 by 5 again so offset that 5 and offset that guy 5 and use fill it to create that edge and then go 5 from the last shape beautiful so we're gonna go offset it's 5 already and then we're gonna fill it that guy with that guy again it tell you the dotted line it's following this line so I'm gonna draw a construction line like that and doing fill it that's our rectangle and then we have a couple of trims TR1 space and then TR2 spaces and here we go that's our shapes here uh, the main geometry we have a circle here a useless circle here so I'm gonna go C space I'm gonna hit this point and I'm gonna you know hover about that point again moving my hand like this that's my circle with a radius of one and eventually this painful uh, this painful chairs that we always have with this table so again I'm gonna do it here so 2 by 4 by 2 by close and then this this is 0.6 for the short one and the wide one is one point okay so I will go half it point six here and then the length is giving to us one point two down here here yeah, it's one point two and this all point six again I'm gonna have have it half of it sorry it's point three close this and mirror those two things based on that so probably we don't need that or that and then we're gonna fill it to create the first chair moving it to touch and then the gap is 0.2 so M space P space to select the previous pushing that up 0.2 now uh, we can just simply mirror that and then we can just rotate that again and select the rotate here and uh, now the base point here and I can hit C space as you can see here to specify copy so I see space and I can move my hand down at a 90 degree to specify the location of the first one I can go ahead and mirror that like this and simply you can notice that they are different from the one we have it's it's okay it's not been specified but it's gonna be really ugly when you curve that up so pushing that down 0.2 pushing that up 0.2 will not hurt us probably more I'm gonna push that another 0.2 and push that down another 0.2 mirror for some reason it wasn't the mid that's the mid now F space R space again it's not been specified the radius so I'll say like a point uh, three maybe as long as I did not specify you can go ahead and assume the actual or the you know that some uh, assumed uh, radius for that I'll move this and again I can uh, specify uh, you know right to click mid between two points right to click mid between two points so no sorry M space select object space to finish selection now when to ask for specify the base point right click and mid between two points I'm selecting this guy and this guy so that's the mid exactly the center of that 
and now again it's an extension of that and that okay so how about above this point put the mouse above this point and move it and then put the mouse above this one and move it and use the extension and you know it's still uh, as you see the mistake that I've done that I selected some point there which is causing the whole issue yep well, I'll just place it here and repeat specify mid between two points so that's the first and that's the second again I'm picking this guy and then picking this guy and pushing my hand like that as you should see both lines anyway just to double check yep it's right anyway so that's about it uh, except I think we need to fill it that for a radius of 4 which is again easy F space R space 4 space and by that we've done uh, the second uh, tutorial as you can see uh, ladies and gents uh, which is might be so useful uh, you know to keep practicing and repeating that as much as you can in order to get uh, you know more uh, custom and more speed and what's the sequence that you need of the com of commands you need to get uh, to understand without you know keep remembering that and the more you actually repeat the same exercise that much more speed you gain in a shorter time so I highly advise you to repeat as much as you can uh, anyway I will start up uh, to continue lecture for in a couple of uh, hours I wish that you find that uh, you know solving the quiz the second the second class useful for you thank you for watching and have a good night